What's up, it's Phil from Phil with Expos, and in today's episode we're going to talk about the rear delts. Now the rear delts, in my opinion, hands down, one of the most underrated parts of the shoulders and they're very neglected in my opinion. So a lot of lifters out there, they try so hard to bring up their front delts and then they're constantly doing side raises and that's all good. But if you really want to get the biggest delts possible, you should really start prioritizing your rear delts a lot more. So a lot of people, they'll do shoulder press, another shoulder press, do a lot of lateral raises and they'll finish off the workout with a set of face pulls as if that's really going to do anything. If you really want to get some big rear delts, you have to watch my series on how to roll your way to bigger rear delts, part one, two, and three. But you also have to watch this video. So a lot of people recommend rear delt flies and they recommend rear delt swings. Now rear delt swings, it's a lift popularized by John Meadows. I personally like it a lot. You, roll, you could use a lot of heavy weights. But what I've noticed in like the last few weeks is that a lot of people who do rear delt flies and rear delt swings, they don't feel the rear delts working that much. So in this video, we're gonna elaborate on that. Okay, so first off, we're gonna start with the rear delt fly. It's a very common rear delt exercise among a lot of bodybuilders. And a lot of people basically do the rear delt fly like this. So bend over, they'll do it in a seated position, grab some light dumbbells, and they'll just do this. Now this is great, but from what I've noticed, when you're in the bottom position, the rear delts aren't really working that hard. So I could pretty much hold this position all day long and I don't feel the rear delts working at all. So what I'm advocating is that you start using constant tension reps. What does that mean? It means that the muscles are under tension throughout the whole range of motion, throughout the whole set. So basically a lot of people tend to use a lot of body English and a lot of momentum, which isn't necessarily bad, but from, from here to around here. So when you apply the constant tension philosophy that I'm talking about, you're basically going to start it in a part where the rear delt is still working and then you raise it up. So it'll look a bit like this. I'll start a bit outside the feet. So now I can feel the rear delts working the whole way through as opposed to just being here and just relaxing. Because a lot of people don't want to admit it, but when you're at the bottom position, the rear delts aren't doing anything and you're pretty much just resting. So the way I like to train rear delts in isolation is to have them working the whole time, just blast them and just pump them. So we're not trying to hit elite records for uh, how much you can rear delt fly, but we're just trying to get a massive pump, get as much blood in there as possible and just improve the mind-muscle connection and that's what it's all about. Okay, so if you apply this philosophy on the rear delt swing, it's going to look like this. Instead of having the dumbbells right here, where you can pretty much hold this all day, you're gonna have them out a bit more. So you're gonna leave a few inches of space. So that way when you do your swing, you can stop right here. Now I'm actually feeling it throughout the whole range of motion. As opposed to when I'm here, I don't feel anything. I could hold, I've held 140 pound dumbbells right here and I don't feel anything in the rear delts. But if you cut the weight in half, or even cut the weight into one force, we're using like 35s, and you use it in my style where you're doing the constant tension reps. You feel it a lot more. Okay, so there you guys have it. Very quick video on rear delt isolation work in the form of flies and swings. I personally found that throughout the last few months, I was doing flies and I was doing swings, and I wasn't getting as much as the way I'm explaining now. So constant tension, in my opinion, is the way to go. You get way more pumped, you get way more sore, you get way more activation, you get way more fatigued, and the benefits are just endless. So let me know in the comment section below. Try out both ways. Try out the way where you're stopping at the bottom. Let me know if you get a better stretch than rear delts or whatever the case is. And let's get some debates in the comment section of which style is better or which style is more effective because both styles definitely have their place. So let me know in the comment section below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.